In this lesson, we're going to be talking about the opposite of the opposite of a number. Now, when we talked about opposites before, we said that the opposite of 8 was negative 8. This symbol, we used to use it only for meaning subtraction. Now we're going to use it to mean negative or the opposite of a number. I can use it in front of another symbol to mean the opposite any time. So what, get used to thinking of this symbol as meaning the opposite. Here is a question, what number is 8 units to the right of 0? If we imagine a number line and we have 0 in the middle, if we're going to go right, we're going to go in the positive direction. So the number that is 8 units to the right of 0 is 8. On this number line, I'm going to put 0 right here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 is right there. So here is 8 on my number line. If I locate the opposite of 8 on this number line, I'm going to go in the opposite direction to negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, 8 units in the opposite direction. This is showing the opposite of 8. It's how we're finding the opposite of 8. The opposite of 8 is negative 8. That's another way of saying the opposite of 8 by using this symbol right here. We know it as a minus sign or a negative sign, but it also means the opposite of whatever comes after it. If we want to find the process to locate the opposite of negative 8, here's negative 8. We need to go in the opposite direction from 0 is negative 8. So going here, this is the opposite of negative 8. Right? So the opposite of negative 8 is 8. When we do this, we can look at it as saying the opposite of the opposite of 8 is 8. That's one way we can show this information. It's like translating from language into symbols. The opposite of the opposite of 8 is 8. So if we want to say that the opposite of an opposite of a number is the number itself. So the opposite of the opposite of 8 is 8. The opposite of the opposite of 7 is 7. The opposite of the opposite of any number is the number itself.